Uh, hello friends, welcome to this video. So in this video, we will look at a, another open source library of Python or in order to generate a PDF document with form fields filled with the sample data. So we are actually using this pi mu PDF library. Let me just show you the demo of this application. So if I run this script, Python app to py, you will see that a, this PDF file will be generated simple registration form so a student registration form will be generated in a PDF document with the data pre-filled first name last name email address and age so we have four fields out there this is a student registration form and if I show you it in the browser it will look something like this so four fields are there so I will show you simply how to create form fields inside PDF document using this library and uh, if you just search for this library PyMuPDF. It's a very famous library of Python, a open source library related to PDF. It used to extract text, all sort of operations you can perform. So this is their documentation. You can mo read more about it. So I will show you this example in this video. So all the source code that I will use in this video is given in the description. So what you need to do, you first of all need to install this. So there is a package we need to install FITZ. This is the same package FITZ and also you need to install PI new PDF. So these two packages you need to install FITS and PI new PDF. I have already installed these two packages. So now to get started you need to create a file right here which is script.py. So right here first of all what I will do I will import this module import fits FITZ and after that we will actually create a function which will be responsible for creating a simple form so create simple form and we will pass two arguments to this function output PDF path and the we will only pass the output PDF path so now inside this function we need to create a new PDF document for creating that PDF document you will be using fits plus so this module contains a function of open so it will open a new PDF document by using this open method and we will be adding this uh, a new page by we have this method new underscore page so this method new underscore page will add a new page in the PDF document so here you need to specify the width of the page which is 595 and the second part of property is the height of the page which is 842 so this will be roughly this will be an A4 size page so A4 size of PDF so after that we need to give it a title so we'll simply say simple registration form then we need to set the phone size so we'll be declaring some variables right here so phone size will be 16 and then we need to calculate the width of the title so we will create a function a variable title width so we will be using this mathematical formula we will be calculating the number of characters using this length function in python so how many characters are there it will calculate this using this function and then we will multiply this by the title font size and we will multiply it by 0 0.6 so i just calculated this simple formula you can just copy this and then we need to calculate the x position and the y position of the where to show the title in the pdf document so the x position will be 595 minus the width of the title so and then we need to divide this by 2 and then that's all this is the x position and now we need to insert this title in the page so we can use this insert text method this is the actual method in this pymule video library so this object that you have this page it contains this method insert text so right here you need to first of all pass the x position which we calculated in the previous step title x position and then the y position will be 50 constant and the second one will be the actual title that we need to insert and the font size will be the actual font size that we configured and the font name so we will be passing Helvetica so the shorthand for Helvetica is H-E-L-V so these after doing this if I check in the PDF document we need to call this function 
but before that we also need to save this PDF document for saving it we have a function inside this library which is a PDF save function so we will call this and here you need to specify the output location that we passed in this function and then we need to close the PDF document so we will use the close function and we will simply say the print statement that PDF saved as output path that's all so now we just need to call this uh, function so we need to specify the output PDF path so we simply say student PDF and we need to now call this function so we will simply call this function that we created create simple form and we will simply pass this location as the argument so now we are simply calling this function guys which we define right here passing the output PDF path so if I just run this script right here you will see that in the left hand side a student.pdf file will be generated so python app sorry python script.py and you can see that PDF saved as student PDF you can see that so if I open this you will actually see this heading appearing sim simple registration form so now we need to add the form fields after we add the title what we need to do after we do this we need to now add the form fields with sample data so for adding this first of all we do need to create a array of uh, data and this will be set of fields that we need to insert right here which will be first name you can take any fields of your choice depending upon which data you want to insert so 100 x coordinate is 100 y is 100 and the actual value will be quarter and the next field will be for the last name x coordinate 100 y coordinate is 140 so just below it the value then similarly we have uh, the email and the age as well so 100 x coordinate and 180 is the y coordinate and the email address and lastly the age so age is a numeric value but still you need to surround that into double quotes so 100 to 220 and uh, 27 that's all this is actually the data that these four fields we need to insert this so for that we'll be using a for loop for label position and the sample data we will declare these three variables and then inside this form labels so in this way you can loop through each record in python so we'll be for each record we'll be using this method once again insert text so this will be used for inserting values one by one this first name last name email age so inside this we need to pass first of all the position and the label and the font size which we need to set it 12 and the font name is actually be Helvetica and then we need to add the form fields so for doing that we need to insert the rectangle and this library contains a function which is rectangle R-E-C-T this function is responsible for drawing that rectangle that you see inside this so this is actually first of all we need to draw this rectangle this is kind of a rectangle this form field so now for drawing that rectangle we use this function and here you need to pass the x position so our position is 0 we need to add 150 to it and the y coordinate is uh, position 1 minus 5 so in this array indexing as you all know it starts from 0 so we basically reading the first instance of it which is 100 and then this is y coordinate 100 so in the x coordinate we are incrementing 150 and in the y coordinate we are subtracting 5 so this is x coordinate and the y coordinate and similarly for the width we will simply say position 0 this is the mathematical guys I simply calculated so you can simply copy this position this is really important for aligning perfectly the form fields and the values so after that now to, for drawing this rectangle we use the draw rectangle function so draw rectangle function 
so here we need to pass the coordinates field rectangle and the color so color will be black so normally we use black color so 0 0 0 for black so if you run this now you will actually see in style student PDF you will see four fields is added you can see so form fields you can see one by one it has been added now we need to insert the values that we define right here one by one which is the first name last name email address and the age these values now for adding these values programmatically we will actually be inside this loop so for each record we will now fill the rectangle with the data or form with data so for filling it we will use again the insert text function and this time we need to provide the x coordinate which is position 0 once again we will increment this 155 and the y coordinate is uh, from the y coordinate we need to subtract 5 and then the width and the height so what I will do I will simply copy this So this actually takes the x coordinate, y coordinate, then the actual data that you want to fill out, the font size, the font name and the color of the text. So in this way it actually does this. So now as soon as you do this, just make sure that the indentation is correct. So if you do this now, you will actually see the data will be inserted perfectly in those form fields that we created in this rectangle. You got this data. So all the details have been successfully pre-filled in these uh, rectangles that we created. So this is the overall result that you will get after you run this script. You will see that this is the simple registration form. You can definitely change the values accordingly. So you, you can change this, let's suppose from Gotham to John. So again run this script. You will actually see now the data has been So this is actually the thing. So let me change it from John. So you can now see the data has been changed. So in this way you can create PDF documents with form fields in Python using this awesome open source library which is by new PDF also known as FITS. So thank you very much for watching this video and uh, do check out my website freemediatools.com which is a free website which contains a lot of open source related tools to audio, image and video and I will be seeing you in the next video.